Hi there, I'm Susie Cohen, America's pharmacist, and you'll be shocked to know that the Food and Drug Administration actually has laws about how people can talk about dietary supplements and what we can put on our labels. Let me tell you what happened. An Amazon rep notified me that one of the words on the listing for my sleep formula was not allowed. Seriously! The term sleep aid in the description of my sleep formula suggests it treats the disease of insomnia because that's what other sleep aids like Ambien do. So Amazon deactivated my sleep formula for a couple of days. You see, in the United States, supplements aren't allowed to state such things, so my product was deleted until I reworded the description. This might shock you, but according to FDA regulations and policies, food and dietary supplements are only allowed to make structure or function claims. For example, sleep script supports healthy sleep patterns. Though they used to be, disease claims are no longer allowed. So I can't say my supplement is for insomnia because insomnia is a disease. It's freaking ridiculous. The regulations changed some time ago and then one day it suddenly became illegal to make a disease claim for a dietary supplement or vitamin. Okay, so don't worry, no one goes to jail, but they may get a warning letter or they might get fined a lot of money if they don't oblige or potentially shut down. They essentially muzzle everybody. Now you're probably wondering, what does the FDA do if it doesn't approve dietary supplements or vitamins? I'd be wondering too. The FDA's job is only to approve a drug for a specific indication. This won't shock you. The FDA works for pharmaceutical companies and evaluates their clinical trials for medications to see if they can gauge efficacy versus adverse events. In other words, does the drug work well and cure people and help them with their diseases, or does it cause fatalities? So they weigh this out. They do not work for dietary supplement companies, only pharmaceuticals. When I tell people this, it always comes as such a surprise. So from now on, while reading pamphlets in the waiting room or vitamin labels, consider the way in which supplement makers have to speak to you. Again, it's only by making structure and function claims. If a supplement company claims their product treats a disease, that's a good indicator that they don't know what they're doing, or they may be intentionally trying to fluff their product to make a sale. Good supplement sellers know how to talk kind of like in code. And right now I'm gonna go over three examples so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Example number one, these pills relieve the pain of osteoarthritis and tendonitis. No, 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 can't say that. That statement's bad because arthritis is a disease name and only pharmaceutical drugs are allowed to treat it. If a drug like Celebrex makes this claim, it's totally okay because their medication is effective for this disease and the clinical trials prove it. But someone selling a collagen supplement or an herbal dietary supplement cannot say it cures arthritis. We'd have to say that our product, quote, supports healthy joints, cartilage, and tendons, unquote. See, we have to talk in code. Example number two, taking vitamin D is great for immunity and can prevent cold and flu and help autoimmune disorders. Plus it will reduce cracking of your teeth and osteoporosis. Bad, very bad. The FDA would allow only something like this. Vitamin D supports healthy immune function, strong bones and teeth. Example number three, such and such pills are for diabetes. Nope. The reason is because diabetes is a disease and as such, only drugs like metformin or insulin are allowed to make claims to help it. A supplement formula, no matter how good it is at controlling blood sugar, is never permitted to make that claim anymore. Instead, because of these stupid rules, we'd have to say that our formula supports a healthy pancreas and hope you can read between the lines. Supplement makers are muzzled and have been since 1998 when the FDA proposed the new structure function claims and disallowed claims about diseases. They say it's for your protection, but in my opinion, it can confuse people and cause them to take supplements that won't help and might even hurt because you don't even know what it's intended for. For example, if you see a dietary supplement that says supports gut health, how do you know if it treats constipation or diarrhea? Maybe it's for abdominal cramps or acid reflux. It would be safer for you as a consumer to know what to buy based on what the label said. But the way the laws are now, it's confusing. 
the laws honestly really just protect the big companies. Definitely not you. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Susie Cohen. I'm a real life pharmacist, so I know a lot about medications and metabolic pathways. I've been writing medical articles for 30 years. You may have seen me in your local newspaper or some popular morning shows. If you're interested on my advice regarding a specific health topic, I invite you to use the search box at my website, suzycohen.com. I've used my knowledge of pharmaceuticals and herbs to formulate custom dietary supplements and skincare formulas that actually work. Please check the description below for links to my blog and my vitamin shop. Also, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to watch more content like this. Don't forget to ring the notification bell too.